Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable congratulations to His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq of Oman on his country's National Day. His Majesty wished him good health and happiness and the Omani people for their progress and prosperity under the wise leadership of His Majesty Sultan Haytham. His Majesty praised the depth of the good relations that bind the two countries and peoples, wishing them further development. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a written message to the President of Turkey, Rajab Tayyip Erdogan, regarding the close friendly relations between the two countries. The message was received on behalf of the Turkish President by the Turkish Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mevlut Kavasuglu, and he received the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif Al Rashid Al Zayani. Dr. Al Zayani conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King to the Turkish President and his wishes to Turkey and its people for continued progress and prosperity. The two foreign ministers held a bilateral meeting that highlighted joint cooperation between both countries and discussed ways to develop ties in various fields. They also discussed regional developments and issues of common interest. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable congratulations to the Sultan of Oman, His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq Al Saeed on Oman's National Day. His Royal Highness sent a similar cable to Oman's Deputy Prime Minister for the Council of Ministers, His Highness Sayyid Fahd bin Mahmoud Al Saeed. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 62 of 2021, transferring the appointing directors at the Civil Service Bureau. The current director of the Recruitment Directorate, Noura Majid al ghatam was appointed as director of the Wages and Benefits Directorate at the CSB. The following directors were appointed at the CSB. Sabika Rashid Abdul Rahman al mannai director of the Promotions Directorate, and Reem Hassan Hamid Marhoun, director of the Organizational Performance Directorate. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 63 of 2021 to approve the annual report on education and training and to publish it in accordance with the stages of the report's publication as per Decision 49 of 2009. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the SCYS meeting in the presence of the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Deputy President of the SCYS, Sheikh Daid bin Salman Al Khalifa, as well as a number of their Highnesses and members. His Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for his continuous support to the youth and sports sectors and praised the directors of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in this regard. He hailed the recent achievements made by the Kingdom which reflects the role of the GSA led by His Highness Sheikh Khalid in facilitating international participation that contributed highly to these achievements. His Highness also praised the role of His Highness Sheikh Khalid in visiting national clubs and expressed aspiration to witness more achievements and upcoming participations. His Highness hailed the inauguration of a chamber for the resolution of sports disputes which was in the presence of the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa. The SCYS then praised the launch of Al Mustashar app that gives the Bahraini the opportunity to provide solutions for certain challenges faced by various government bodies. His Highness then highlighted the latest with the Lama app which aims the, to hone and enhance the skills of the youth. Sheikh Daij then highlighted the Bahraini football centenary book project which was the direction of His Highness Sheikh Nasser to document the kingdom football march. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Minister of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Isam Khalaf. His Highness Sheikh Khalid welcomed the Minister of Works and conveyed to him the greetings of His Majesty the King and his best wishes to him and to all ministries affiliates of continued success. His Highness discussed with the Minister the plans of the GSA to support the sport establishments and bring about further achievements. The Minister of Works expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Khalid for his distinguished efforts, which contributed to achieving quality strides in the sports field. He stressed the Ministry's cooperation with all government authorities to achieve more progress and prosperity in the prosperous era of His Majesty the King. 
first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the General Sports Authority and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with U.S. Sports Academy CEO and member of the General Sports Authority, Dr. Thomas Rosendich. His Highness welcomed the visit of Dr. Rosendich to the kingdom, hailing his efforts made in the development of Bahraini sports. They discussed ways of enhancing cooperation between GSA and the academy to support joint relations between Bahrain and the U.S. His Highness hailed the cooperation between the academy Academy and sports institutions with the aim of implementing joint programs that achieve positive gains towards the transformation of sport into prof professionalism, in line with the goals of Bahrain Vision 2030. Dr. Rosendich expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness, praising his efforts that will contribute to achieving qualitative leaps in Bahraini sports and the kingdom. The chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended yesterday the horse draw for participating jockeys at the third edition of the Bahrain International Trophy, which will take place on Friday the 19th at the Bahrain Horse Racing Track. The draw took place for starting gate numbers for 14 horses participating in the race from local and international stables. Horse racing enthusiasts from around the world will be attending the International Bahrain Trophy, which will witness strong competition represented by a number of well-known regional and international stables. In addition to the Bahrain International Trophy, six other races will be held including the Batilco, Babco and Bahrain Economic Development Board Cups, who are also sponsors of the race. The event was also attended by the Vice President of the Supreme Council for Environment, Deputy Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, Member of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Sultan al din bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, President of the Crown Prince's Court, Sheikh Salman bin Ahmed bin Salman Al Khalifa, and senior officials. The President of Pakistan, Dr. Araf Alawi, received the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawziya Zainal, and her accompanying parliamentary delegation on the occasion of their official visit to Pakistan. The Pakistani President praised the depth of the Bahraini-Pakistani relations, commending the pioneering achievement of the Kingdom of Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He also praised Bahrain's active role at the regional and international levels and the Kingdom's cooperation with the international community to foster peace and stability in the region. Dr. Alawi commended the efforts 
efforts of Bahraini government, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, pointing out His Royal Highness's distinguished role in leading the Bahraini task force for combating the coronavirus. The Pakistani president stressed cooperation between both countries to promote growth and prosperity. The president conveyed sincere greetings to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, praising the care given to the Pakistani community in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Zena conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to the President of Pakistan and commended the pivotal role of Pakistan at the regional and international levels and its unwavering stances in supporting the Kingdom of Bahrain. Zainal also praised the bilateral cooperation in various fields, stressing common parliamentary keenness to promote bilateral cooperation. The Representatives Council Speaker Fawziya Zainal met with the Prime Minister of Pakistan, Amran Khan, where she conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The Pakistani Premier praised the bilateral ties and affirmed the importance of further enhancing them, especially in the economic field. He praised the Kingdom's progress in the field of development on all levels and for its humanitarian initiatives led by His Majesty the King. The two sides discussed ways of further enhancing the bilateral parliamentary cooperation, along with all others, including anti-terrorism and safeguarding the security of the region. The Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa witnessed the graduation of officers from the Higher Diploma of Law and Police Science degrees and the first two cohorts of those affiliated with the Aviation Police. The Minister was greeted by the Chief of the Public Security Chief, Major General Tariq Al Hassan, and the Commander of the Academy, Brigadier Fawaz Al Hassan. After that, the national anthem was played. الأكاديمية الملكية للشرطة سلام قف جنب السلام عليكم تفكر طابور خريجي سيد مجموعة العلم مع سجل سر
The graduation ceremony then began. The minister expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for patronizing the ceremony and enhancing their ability to protect the country. He also expressed appreciation for the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in contributing to the capabilities and readiness of the security forces. The minister affirmed the importance of investing in the human element, which is central in dealing with security challenges as well as further preparing the cadres to meet the needs of the field. He said that training remains a priority along with the principles of law, restraint, fairness and responsibility. A number of graduates were sent to notable Arab, American and European educational institutions to study various fields including cybersecurity, firefighting, engineering, criminology, forensic science, crisis management, aircraft repair engineering and vertical aviation. During the event, the academy commander gave a speech in which he affirmed the development of the institution and its programs in according with world-class standards with the aim of enhancing enhancing the sense of patriotism and civic duties. The graduates then performed the swearing ceremony after the, which the minister honored the distinguished students. He congratulated the students and appreciated the efforts of the academy in meeting the security challenges and wished everyone further success. The Kingdom of Bahrain took over the presidency of the next session of the Asian Cooperation Dialogue in the pre presence of the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Bar Rashid Zayani, and the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Turkey, Mevlut Kavasoglu, with the participation of a number of foreign ministers from member states in the presence of the Secretary General of ACD, Pornchai Danvi Vatana. The minister delivered a speech in which he thanked the Turkish foreign ministers and the Secretary General of the Dialogue for their distinguished efforts to ensure the smooth and effective work of the Secretariat. He affirmed the Kingdom of Bahrain's commitment to the goals, roles and principles of ACD. He also affirmed the importance of setting clear strategic plans and development programs as directed by His Majesty the King with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The minister stressed that Bahrain seeks to deepen cooperation with partners in the ACD to achieve common goals. 
The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Bin Rashid Zayani, and the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Turkey, Mevlut Cavusoglu, held a press conference at the headquarters of the Turkish Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Ankara on the occasion of the visit of the Foreign Minister to Turkey. The minister praised the bilateral ties in light of the support of His Majesty the King and the Turkish President. He stated that the participated he participated with the Turkish Minister and the Foreign Ministers of the Member States of the ACD in a ministerial meeting where Bahrain took over from Turkey the presidency for the next session of the ACD. For his part, Kavasoglu expressed congratulations to Bahrain on the occasion of assuming the presidency of the next session of the ACD and affirmed the importance of further enhancing the bilateral ties in all areas. The Brazilian president departed Bahrain concluded a visit to the kingdom, during which he met with His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The president was bidden farewell by Industry, Commerce and Tourism Minister Zayed bin Rashid Zayani. The Minister of Information Ali Rumihi held a meeting with the members of the Leaders and Cadres programs organized by BIPA within the National Program for the Development of Government Leaders. The Minister affirmed that cumulative experiences and practices in various fields is an essential reference for government leaders today. He stressed the importance of holding such government meetings to unify visions and strategies, share achievements and overcome challenges in order to elevate the quality of government services. Rumihi shared his experiences with heads of departments of government bodies and praised the efforts of Information Ministry cadres and affirmed that with teamwork, success is guaranteed. The Diva Italian Glamour and Fashion Jewelry Exhibition opened at the Bahrain National Museum and will run until December 11th, introducing the public to a unique aesthetic of Italian art and design. The exhibition is organized by Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities in cooperation with the Italian Embassy in Bahrain. The opening ceremony was attended by BACA Director General of Culture and Arts, Sheikh Hala bint Mohammed Al Khalifa, Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Marina Sereni, Ambassador of Italy in Bahrain, Paola Amade, as well as number of officials. BACA President Sheikh Amay bin Mohammed Al Khalifa said that the Italian culture continuously enriches cultural movements with all its arts and craftsmanship and the exhibition comes as a reflection on the most beautiful Italian jewelry displayed at the Bahrain National Museum opening new horizons for culture enthusiasts in the kingdom. She extended her thanks to the Italian Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Italian Embassy in Bahrain for their cooperation to ensure the success of this exhibition. So tonight it's a special event in collaboration with the Italian Embassy. We are proud to have the Divas, which focuses on design and jewellery from Italy, coming to show here at the National Museum in Bahrain. Of course, it's in parallel to Jewellery Arabia exhibition. Um, of course, we're celebrating beauty, we're celebrating art, we're celebrating design and craftsmanship from Italy. We're delighted for these cultural collabor collaborations to take place between the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities and the Italian embassy. The Ministry of Health announced that eligible individuals holding a yellow shield in the Be Aware application can head directly to health centers across the kingdom to receive their COVID-19 booster dose without the need to wait for an appointment message. To speak more about this, we are joined on the phone by the head of immunization group at the Ministry of Health, consultant public health and epidemiology, Dr. Basma Mahmoud Safar. Hello, Dr. Basma. Tell us about the necessity for those eligible to receive their booster shot to enhance their protection and how it affects the status of their be aware app shield uh, hello good good evening everybody so the booster vaccination started in the kingdom of bahrain in last june 2021 as recommended by the national task force 
to combat COVID-19 pandemic with the aim of boosting the immunity of vaccinated individuals after they received the primary doses of COVID-19 vaccines. As with the other vaccines routinely used previously the, in the schedule, it is important for some types of the vaccines to give booster doses in order to sustain high level of immunity against the occurrence of the disease and its severity and related complications. So it's highly recommended for all vaccinated adults to receive their booster vaccination dose of COVID-19 vaccine according to the recommended interval. And this is based on their risk status and this is to maintain high level of protection and community immunity to combat COVID-19. So once they receive the booster dose, their shield will be automatically changed from the yellow to green in the Be Aware application. So we depend on the cooperation and trust of the society to expedite the process of vaccination with booster doses in order to maintain high level of protection and herd immunity. The head of immunization group at the Ministry of Health consulted public health and epidemiology, Dr. Basma Mahmoud Safar. Thank you for joining us.